Hi and welcome to a very special Pantheo Talks video. Uh, to, uh, in this video, I was a host on Pinups and Fantasies uh, Tights Tuesdays, and we talk about various topics from body stockings to being a content creator on YouTube, uh, uh, Pantheos or Tights creator on YouTube, and I'll be breaking it up into three parts. Uh, this is will be the first part. Me and Melissa were talking about. Uh, body stockings uh yeah so i expect the two other parts uh in the in the coming weeks i hope you guys liked it and as always keep on wearing well hello everybody and welcome to tights talk tuesday so we are talking to is your channel mr nylon you can just call me uh mr nylon from pantyo talk okay and today we're talking to Mr. Nylon from Pantyhose Talk, which is also another uh, YouTube channel on here where he talks about just about everything when it comes to pantyhose and, and tights and hosiery. So I was on his podcast, gosh, a couple of months ago now, right? Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. And I really wanted to bring him over to my channel so now we are going to, we're going to talk about all things hosiery. And we kind of came together and realized that there might be a, a, something that we don't necessarily agree on, and that is body stockings. So I've worn body stockings, but I don't love him. And I know that you had a couple pairs, so... Yeah. Why yes. don't you tell me about that? I have three uh, three pairs. Uh, one's actually camouflage, like it's like blue. It's a camo look, but blue instead of green. And the other two is no, is all purple, and the other one's all white, basically. And these are the without the head part because they are different. Uh, sometimes it it covers the head, sometimes it doesn't cover the hand, sometimes it does cover the hand. These are the ones that covers the hand, but no head. So the reason why I don't like body stockings is because they are so dang hard to put on. Uh, yes. Do you find that you have that issue? Uh, it's mostly with the zipper. Like, you definitely need, this is one of those things like a dress that you need somebody else to zip it up. But yeah, uh, I think that's intentional because uh, they kind of focus towards uh, bedroom play, if, you, if I want to put it YouTube friendly. So that's... Kind of why I understand, and that's where I use most main, uh, mainly use them. So I personally don't have that problem. So mine didn't come with the zipper. Okay, that's a weird one. And so mine was basically impossible to get on, and I tore it in like three different places. So maybe that's what I'm missing. Maybe I need to try a body stocking again, but get one with the zipper because it was so uncomfortable. And then I couldn't get it off. I had to like tear it off of me. Oh, oh that's that's a first for me. Uh, cause I'm I don't claim to be an expert on the body hose. Cause the first time somebody else introduced him to me, and he uh his version was it covers everything the head, the hands. It was from from head to toe nylon, and it had a zipper. So and I had him to uh, put it on for me, but I never heard of one that again I'm not an expert so. But every single one that I've uh, encountered had a zipper. This, this, uh, where you got the uh, Amazon? I got it from Amazon because I've gotten so many requests to do a body stocking, and I just like it's not for me when I wear when I wear tights. I'm wearing tights like out in the world. Like I don't necessarily wear tights for my partner. That's not necessarily his um fetish right but i wear them all the time because i like how they make me feel i like how they make me look so i wouldn't necessarily go out in the world wearing a body stocking and so i had never tried it before but i constantly got requests to try a body stocking and so i just went on amazon which was probably my first mistake right like sometimes amazon just has truly awful awful tights yes so yes. i went on amazon and i just looked up glossy body stocking and that was the one i do have to preference that i have to get like plus sizes because even though i'm not necessarily a really big person i have big assets and i need like enough space to get those in and so maybe that was the issue that like i just got some like weird brand because i put in plus size 
I don't know, but it definitely did not have a zipper and it was really not fun to put on and take off. That, that just sounds so foreign to me because I've basically been around four or five pairs of body stockings and all has zippers. The only thing I could think of, but I doubt it was that, is uh, a nylon cat cocoon. I, I have trouble saying that word, which is basically like a sleeping bag, but it's nylon. But I doubt it was that, right? Because those are easy to get in. No, it definitely, yeah. I have never heard of a nylon cocoon. So, yeah, no, it was definitely a body stocking. And uh, let me tell you, I destroyed, I destroyed it. <laughs> I will never be wearing it again because I completely destroyed it. Well, yeah, that, that uh, I, I would understand it, the first bad, bad experience, yeah. But yeah, uh, it's definitely, I don't know if it's, the thing about body stockings, it, they're usually mostly for, I would say, bedroom play. Because uh, even if it's really cold, I don't think nobody will be wanting to wear a body socking outside, so. It's definitely something for me, at least. Uh, same thing with like, which is similar, but made from spandex. The spandex suits—they're mostly for bedroom play, with, like for your partner and stuff. But I mean, I, I've definitely heard of like latex suits. Yeah, those, so I can kind of see how they would be like in a similar realm. Yeah, definitely spandex, nylon, uh, leather suits. But I think leather just seem very, very tight, and uh, that's not for me. That's not my uh, expertise, but yeah, uh, I'll def I can see definitely the part if you're not wanting to, wanting to, to wear them because you don't want to wear them outside. I don't. I've never worn my spandex suits outside, even when it's like below a hundred. It's just I just ride over like a layering of tights or something else. Yeah, that's definitely something I do a lot. Is I layer when it's cold, but I don't necessarily live in a cold climate. So I don't get to do it that often, but I really do enjoy the look of like a good layered tight. And when I was living in Europe, I will say I did it far more often. Sometimes I would layer two, three pairs of tights on top of each other. I was that cold. Uh, uh, that's funny. I, it's a little bit of a side note. Do you know in, in Europe or yeah, basically in Europe, uh, they don't even have the word panios. Everything is tight to them. No, I didn't know that. I mean, we just called it hosen, but yeah, I did not know that everything yeah. was tight. Yeah, to them, everything is tight. That's not, the word panios is basically an American thing. Which is always so confusing. So I post a lot on Reddit, and that's where you and I connected was on Reddit. And I posted one time that I was wearing pantyhose, and I had a comment that was a person who was very upset that I used the term pantyhose for the tights that I was wearing because there is apparently a difference in some people's minds. And I think it's really confusing tights versus hosiery versus nylons versus pantyhose. Like, I, I do think that it kind of gets to be like a confusing world a little bit of like, what is the proper term for this? But he like he sent me a whole long summary of how I was incorrect for calling this pair of tights uh, pantyhose. I luckily haven't come in, uh, into uh, I haven't come across somebody that uh, upset. I said I would say, but uh, I had a guy in common. Oh, do you know that? Because uh, my intro, uh, my old intro, was basically like those 50s, 60s, uh, you know, stocking models. It was like a compilation mm -hmm. with those, and then it says panty or sock and i mean technically i mean he was right uh most of them were stockings but my my youtube is called panty or sock. he's like you know technically those are stockings i'm like yes i know but that's what basically got me into panty or that's why I, I use those old-timey uh thumbnails or pictures because that's what got me into uh this fetish so that's why i wanted to use them but yeah i i, I definitely know there's people like that that get real technical i'm like uh we get it. I just call basically everything panties because it's just natural to me. But I know uh, I actually made a video. I don't want to self plug, but I made a video called panties versus. Oh tights. no, plug all you want. <laughs> oh, thank you. It was called. It's called panties versus tights. It, it just come down to the den. Like the, the higher the den, uh, the it's basically if it's very high, it's, it's basically a uh, uh, tights. If it's very low, it's basically panties. Basically, if you yeah, I heard that anything under forty, right, is considered pantyhose. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I, or in an easier way, if you can see through it, pantyhose. If you can't see through it, tights. There, there you go. 
but even I feel like even that is hard because there's some like tights that are supposed to be opaque and they just are just not opaque on me. So you can still kind of see through them. But I personally call everything tights. I, that's why my that's why my series is called Tights Talk, because to me, everything are just tights. So oh, yeah. I yeah, I just didn't understand like this whole nylons and hosiery and tights and pantyhose it's like it's a it's a much broader oh and then you have fishnets which is a whole nother thing so it's just like a, a much broader like there's way more specifics in this world than i expected there to be yeah, yeah you you expect to be just oh this is hose this is clothing how hard hard like how subsection can it be oh you you won't believe it seamless pantyhose uh uh, uh shimmery pant glimmery pantyhose or tights whatever oh my gosh and it's, uh i have uh, a pair of pantyhose uh they basically look like oily o oily pantyhose i forgot i forgot the exact name but mm -hmm. it, yeah, yeah so, i have a pair too like that yeah i love those but yeah people are like what uh my friend making a uh, joke was like you look like you have a garbage bag in your in, in your in your in your as in your legs i'm like it's it's a special type of panty <laughs> yeah i i have a hard time wearing the super glossy and glittery pantyhose like or tights just out in the world because i do feel like people are like what the heck why are her legs so sweaty <laughs> Oh, oh they, they think you're sweating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they totally think I'm sweaty. And so, like, if I'm going about during the day, then chances are I'm not going to be wearing, um, like, a shimmery or a oil slick type of pantyhose. I'm probably going to be wearing matte. But going out at night, I feel like I have a bit more freedom yeah. to wear whatever I want because it could just be a part of the look. Like, like I love glittery even though glittery doesn't love me because my goodness, they chafe like nobody's business. Yes, you but I love glittery tights. <laughs> yeah, uh, my, my favorite is like glossy, oily type. I don't know, it's like the look and the feel. But yeah, uh, at night you could definitely uh, complement it with a dress that looks like uh, you know the same look and and versus the day where it's like people are looking at you like, especially uh, you live in a weather uh, not so cold, like you said, not so cold climate. So we're like, ah, uh, she must be sweating on that thing. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely at night. Uh, you you get more options to wear different type of tights that you won't won't normally wear during the day. Oh yeah, I love I I just love the way that like if you're going to a club or something, I love the way that the uh glittery and the shimmery and the like oil slick ones look underneath the light. I just think it looks so beautiful and magical versus like a mat that I feel looks way better during the day because they make my legs look flawless, right? When it's nighttime, you can't really see the imperfections as much. And so you kind of have more freedom to play around. Sorry for the background. There's a loud motorcycle. <laughs> uh, welcome to the. I I muted my thing for the podcast. Yeah, yeah that's a uh, welcome to the hood. But yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely, there's difference. Uh, the, the different type of day lets you wear different type of tights. But yeah, uh, so now, do you generally? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say, do you generally wear um your hose out in public? Or are you kind of more of just like an at home comfortable? Like, do you like to wear them like lounging around the house? Uh, I, at first when I, uh, I did, uh, I did only wear them in the house, but, uh, I usually wear, uh, wear them when it gets colder. I use, I live in, uh, depends on the, uh, right now it's summer, so I'm not going to be outside with my tights or hose, but when it comes, when it starts getting to fall winter territory, I'll definitely wear them under my jeans. Uh, October, since it's Halloween, I do wear them all, all month. Especially on oh really yeah especially on the Halloween day I I uh, get a little bit more brave and go in the costume that shows my legs and I usually be in pantyhose. Oh yeah, that's super cool. I almost never have to wear tights underneath my clothes. Like I can almost like even in dead of winter where I live, it's still not really that cold, and so I do like layering tights in terms of. A lot of times I'll do tights with stockings on top or tights with fishnets on top. 
And that, uh, <laughs> yeah, and that is like, that's probably my favorite way to wear fishnets is when I have tights underneath them. But I, I do get pretty lucky in terms of being able to wear, but also like, I don't have, I never have a worry about wearing, you know, tights out in public and what people will think about me. So I'm, I'm lucky in that way. Right. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. But it's fine. Like I, I'm becoming more brave, like, like, especially when it comes to uh, uh, Halloween in, in October, I wear almost the whole, the whole month and people, don't, and plus I live in a part where it's a bit more open-minded. So people don't generally stare at me like that. Yeah. When I was living in Europe, I definitely wore tights every single day underneath my jeans because just it's just so cold. So I can imagine like being in a cold climate all the time yeah. and kind of being able to do that. So yeah, that's, that's the thing about body stockings. They're made, like I said, uh, if there's somebody out there that wears them for uh, you know anything else from that's not just uh, the bedroom, uh, cook, uh, power to you. But for me, uh, body holes or any. Body holes, not uh, nylon cocoon. There's usually more for uh, the bedroom, so that's probably why. Since uh, you don't wear it for your partner, that's why you probably you don't like no. it. No, I just, I just don't. I, I just don't like body stockings. Are basically my thing is, is that if it's uncomfortable, I'm not gonna wear it. Oh yeah, definitely. Like I, I had a pair of pants that was uncomfortable. Like I actually had a pair of ballet tights. One uh, uh -huh. came in uh, two pairs. One was gray. One was black. And, almost, and the black one almost looked like the like the oily pantyhose uh, that that I mentioned. But that was just so well tight that I'm like, nope, these are never going on again unless I just wait, just to do a photo shoot. That's about it. I re I haven't I haven't touched them in psh, ages because this is so uncomfortable. Yeah, I have a big issue with if they don't fit over my butt. And I'm constantly having to pull them up. I'm not. I'm not going to wear them ever. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely the way. Like, because it, it all comes down how, how comfortable you are. Yes, and that is something that is super key for me is like the comfortability of an item. So, like, my partner has expressed uh, interest in latex. I, I've never done it because I'm so I'm so worried that it's gonna be like insanely uncomfortable to get on. Uh oh yeah, oh yeah, that, that that's that's. Uh, I mean, I'm open and trying anything, but uh, as something as I I will do in a regular basis, like wearing pan uh tights or panels. Uh, I don't know about latex. Latex look really. If we're talking about body holes being tight, uh, or hard to get into, latex looks oof. Exactly. Exactly. And also like when you're wearing the body, when you're wearing the body stockings, like how you'd have to take them off or you'd have to rip them in order to get to any of the good areas, unless you get ones that are missing the, Oh yeah. You no, know. there, there are, uh, we call the, uh, crouchless bat, uh, body stockings. There are, there are, I seen that variant. Uh, and there's yeah, also and mine were not the ones that I had were not that, uh, they, they weren't, they weren't uh crouchless uh, and there's also no. fo sorry for one second mm -hmm. okay wait uh and for for the guys they have uh some that have sheets for the you know what oh okay so, yeah so it all depends on uh uh hopefully you if you're gonna use it for bedroom prey you're prepared. You either have the crouchless variant or the one for the uh, the sheath variant. Yes. Yeah, I definitely did not. Mine did not come with that. I'm going to assume that the ones that I got were not the norm and they were just the, like, kind of like those star DY tights that you were saying that you also had. Just yeah. not a good, just not a good brand. <laughs> not a good pair of tights. Uh, I don't know if you remember because uh, I've, ordered obviously i ordered some from amazon they took whew, i thought they were missing in 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 translation it took them like three months to get to me because uh oh my god most of the uh i noticed most of the those body stockings they come from a certain a particular part of the world and that's yes what, i 100 percent agree and know what you're talking about <laughs> yeah and they, they took forever and i i legit thought that like they uh forgot about it or, or is they took my money and that's it 
I was about, I was ready to refund, but then I got it like uh, a couple of days later. I actually have a horror story that uh, another person that was interested because of my photos. I oh they, that uh, they wanted to order some, and they did. And mm -hmm. and I told them, hey, uh, when you getting them? Oh, certain month. That certain month came and he never got them. He had a uh, actual refund. No. Yeah, and I, I think that's another thing, like the accessibility of getting them, because I've seen. Like outside of Amazon, I, I know some other sites that uh, they have some body stockings, and I don't know why. Maybe because it's harder to make them, or it takes longer. Well, it makes sense to make longer. I mean, it takes longer, but uh, there's all they always take time. Uh, that extra time to get to you. So that, that's another thing you got to deal with. Yeah, I don't remember mine taking like super long, but I I just I get I buy and I just receive so many pairs of tights that. I, it probably took a long time, and I just didn't even realize that it did. Uh, the re the reason I uh, cause they, they were technically the my first the uh pair of uh, body holes, so that I was like really waiting for them because outside of that, uh, uh, somebody else introduced them into them. But uh, yeah, I just remember them. They took like at least three months. Yeah, but you at least got one that had a zipper. I wish I had known that. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm still wondering what type of body stockings you guys this is weird so i, I assume this is uh, not it, it didn't cover the head did it cover the head did it cover the hands I just no wondered. it didn't it didn't come with the like the hands were not covered uh, uh i want to say that the feet were covered but and the crotch was covered it just didn't have a head or hands that's another variant uh the, the, sometimes there's a variant that don't cover the feet yeah, the footless ones. Uh, question: Is it? Are we talking about the one that? Because, uh, like I said, we met through Reddit, and in Reddit, you have you post some pictures. Is it the one that you posted on OF? I mean, on Reddit. Yes. Uh, yeah, that, it's the one that I posted on Reddit. That you have a black leotard under. under? Yeah. Uh huh. Funny, because I'm using I'm using that same picture as the background to this video. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a good picture, right? I look oh, yeah. good in it. You look great in I, it. I just don't. I just don't. I, I will say that I have gotten requests for uh, more body stockings, and I have politely declined. Uh so, so what you did with the, the that pair? You, uh, did you sell it? Because I know. Oh, you they're still up for sale. They're still up for sale. If anybody uh, wants them. Well, there you go, guys and gals or gals. Uh, if you want some body stocking, <laughs> worn body stockings. Yeah, I took them off and put them straight into a, a little plastic baggie so that they stayed how they were, and uh, they are ready. They are ready to be sold because they're never going on my body again. Well, yeah, like I, uh, I could definitely understand after <laughs> having to rip them off to take them off. Oof, that sounds like a, it, it does definitely add a story to that picture now. <laughs> oh man! Yes, yes, it, it definitely. Uh, it was not fun. I, I had a moment of panic when I was trying to get them off and couldn't get them off on my own. And I was I was in my house by myself at the time. And I had a moment of panic where I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm never going to get this off of me. Uh, uh, I kind of had a little bit of panic when I first tried my own uh, body holes. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, like the zipper uh, oh, was really something hard to get to, but I, I eventually got it. And I have kind of lost weight after that so uh, if i try them on again there shouldn't be no problem but yeah that's the thing uh there is for me for me personally they, they're uh made towards like play in the bedroom uh, and or at least i have somebody else to zip up zip you up yeah i haven't tried them for that but maybe maybe that's something that my partner and i can discuss well, there you go. Or whether or not, yeah, whether or not he wants to try them on before I get rid of it. Yeah, because uh, like for outside, uh, like for yourself, like I, I mean, I love the feel of nylon, obviously, uh, on your body. So that's why I, I sometimes sleep on my nylon cocoon. I sleep, I sleep mm -hmm. under there. But yeah, like uh, and but that's like a basically a nylon bag. You just easy to take in, like to slip in and out. But like a whole suit, like. Having trouble with to get in them on with the zipper, I just don't see the point. The point of it just for yourself, but hey, I, I'm pretty sure some people that do it for themselves, but which is, which is fine. But that's probably because you don't have motivation outside of 
photo shoots to, to wear them. Yeah, I have. And I think that that's probably the problem is that I really have zero motivation to, to continue to wear it if I'm just going to wear it for, you know, five minutes, but it takes me 25 minutes to get it on and 25 minutes to get it off. I know that for you. Like at that point, is it worth my time? Exactly. And when, when you get, you're content with just wearing uh, tights or pantyhose, which yeah. Yeah. And that was uh, part one of uh, our very long talk with Melissa. I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you soon for part two. And uh, as always, keep on wearing. <laughs>